Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare, on the web at camc.org forward slash kids, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com and by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support organizations that make a positive difference. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org. Everybody and welcome to Abracadabra. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Say, Joey, what's this hat on your head? That's not a hat, it's a helmet. A helmet, yeah. When you bought me a new bike, you said I had to wear a helmet, so I am. Uh, oh, Joey, this Viking helmet was worn a thousand years ago. Oh, when you were a kid. Yes, it's not exactly the type of helmet I was talking about. Oh, well, how about this one? Uh, there, like that. Uh, Joey, that's a fireman's helmet. Well, it's good enough for the fireman. It's good enough for me. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't think that's what I meant either. I was talking about a bike helmet. Something that you would use to protect your head in case you fell. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I have one right here. Look at this. Take a look at that. Uh, there we go. Oh, Joey, who turned out the lights? Oh. Let's play the grocery shelf game. When you go to the grocery store, there are lots of items on the shelves. How do you know which ones to choose? Here are the items on our grocery shelf today. Which three should I put in my basket? Should I put in the fruit cocktail? Maybe. Maybe is right, because if it's in heavy syrup, it's not good for you but this fruit cocktail is in its own juice. How about the I chocolate ice cream cake? No! No, because it has lots of sugar and it's high in fat. How about the apple? Yes! Yes, because fresh fruit is always good for you. How about the ice cream? No, because ice cream is high in fat and high in sugar. And what about the sugar-free gelatin cups? Yes! Yes, because it's very low sugar and it has real fruit in it. Well, those are the three items for my grocery basket today. Next time you go to the grocery store, pick the healthy items on the shelves and you'll always be a winner. It's time for more fun. <laughs> hi, Mike. I brought these flowers for your shop. Oh, hi, Megan. Oh, they look great. How's your afternoon job going in Daisy's garden shop? It's great. I love working with Daisy and the plants. And I still get to come over here and watch some magic. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I I'm packing up some magic for a customer. She came into the shop about, oh, three or four months ago. It was really interesting. She wanted to buy a magic trick as a gift. So I had this great idea. 
Hi, Heather. It's so good to see you again. Hey, Mike. I'm glad to see you, too. Okay, what can I do for you today? Well, my son Jack is preparing for his school talent show, and he's looking for a new magic trick that will really enlighten the crowd. Oh, I have just the trick for Jack. Come on over to the counter. Okay. Speaking of enlightening the crowd, we're going to use a light bulb today. How's that? That's perfect. Okay. And I have an abracadabra deck of cards. Let me show them to you. See the cards? Oh, I love the fruits and vegetables. <laughs> great. Okay, now I'm going to have you select any card you want. Oh, let's try this one. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to turn around so I can't see it. You remember the card, show it to everybody else. All right. And then tell me when you're done. Okay, Mike. Yep. Yeah. All right, good. Now, I'm going to just cut the deck and have you put the card on top. Bury the card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to spread some of the cards out into a pile over here. There's one pile. And we'll spread the cards out a little bit more and make a second pile. And then I'll do some over here and a fourth pile. So we have four piles. Okay. okay. I'm going to take the light bulb and I'm going to place it into the silk. Just like that. Right? Okay. I'm going to hold on to the silk. All right. Okay. And I want to see if the light bulb can find your card. All right. Now here's how that happens. Wave the light bulb over the cart. Put it over that pile. Okay. Try this pile. Try this pile. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, wow. The light bulb. It lit light. up. Yeah. That must mean that this is your card. Let's take a look and see. <gasps> that is my card. How about that? That's awesome. <laughs> Let me take the light bulb out of here. Would you like this trick? I think it's perfect, absolutely. Okay, well, Jack you know, will love it. it has an invisible cord on it. So okay. I need to cut the cord so I can give this to you. I'm just gonna trim it up here. So we go around. There we go. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mike. You're That's welcome. great. Jack's gonna love this. Enjoy. All right. And I'm thanks sure for coming in again, Thank Heather. You. We'll see you soon. You bet. Okay, bye bye. sense an exercise song. I'd best go on land and investigate. Perhaps I could move my body. Hi! Oh. Let's move our body! <laughs> Would you like to see an illusion? Yeah! It's in the illusion room. I have a giant traffic light. Except mine doesn't work on electricity, it works on colored balls. <laughs> Those have a red one and a yellow one and a green one. Let's see if you know the order that they should be in on a traffic light. We're gonna cover up the tube. And which ball should I put in first? Green ball, right, so the green ball goes in first. And which one next? Yellow! Yellow one next, that's right. And which one on top? Red! Right, red on top means stop, right? Okay, now for sure we have them in the right order. Let's take a look, we have green and, uh, wait a moment, that's not right. What happened there? The red one got on the bottom. I'm gonna give you a head start. Everybody knows that the green ball goes in first, so we're gonna put the green ball in and then we'll cover it up. Okay, now which one next? Yellow! Yellow, okay, the yellow ball next. And which one on top? Red! 
Right, right on top, meat and stop. Okay, now for sure this time, I know we have them right. We have the green one, and then we have the yellow. Uh, wait. Wow, that red ball is giving us trouble. Hmm, let's cover up those two. Maybe we'll send the red ball to school, and then it will learn that it has to go on top instead of in the middle or the bottom. I happen to have a schoolhouse here. Can you hold our ball for a minute? I want to show you our schoolhouse. It has the same colors on it, and it has two tubes. You can see that the tubes are empty. Place those together like that. We'll take our ball and place it inside. Now I need your help with the magic words. Remember, over here is the yellow and the green one, just like that. Now, can you say abracadabra? Ready? Abracadabra. That's very good. Take a look. That's gone from here. The ball is gone. And over here, we have the green one and the yellow one, and the red ball is back on top. Thank you for helping me with that. <laughs> say clock, what time is it? Ahoy there, matey! Hey, Salty. Well, what's that on your head? You know, I could have said, go in doggy, which means good day in the Viking language. Viking language? What are you doing? Well, I'm, uh, I'm talking with ye. Salty. Well, I'm wearing me Viking helmet. Viking helmet? Uh, yes, and I brought one for ye also. Here. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Oh, go ahead, put it on. No, no. Oh, come on. Well, okay. Oh, there. I feel silly. <gasps> you look so natural. Yes. Well, tell me why we're wearing Viking helmets today. Well, I knew we were going to be talking about biking safety on the show today, and you said that everyone should wear a helmet. So I put on me Viking helmet. <laughs> Salty, I meant that if you were going to be riding a bike, you should be wearing a bike helmet. Oh. Uh. Everybody should be wearing safety helmets if you're riding a bike or rollerblading or skating. The helmet protects your head from injury in case you fall and hit your head on a hard surface. Oh, I'm right with you there, matey. I always wear mine. By the way, did I ever tell ye that uh, me great, 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 great grandfather was a Viking? Oh, really? Yes. Vikings are great sailors. Almost as good as me. Well, got to get back to me ship. Ta ta for now, or as we say in the Viking tongue, farewell. Farewell, salty. Farewell. Hi, Daisy. I need a snack I can share with my friends. Can you help me? Sure. Why don't we make pear pinwheels? First, you take a whole wheat tortilla, and then you're going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Maybe a little more. Good. Then we're going to put some pear slices on top of the cheese, just like this. And then we're going to put a little bit more cheese on top. Good. Now we're going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds or until the cheese melts. Now you're going to roll the tortilla up and cut it into slices. I love cheese and fruit. Can I try one? Sure. Go ahead. They're only 302 calories, have no added sugar, and 9 grams of fat. They're high in vitamin A and C, and have calcium, iron, and fiber. Thanks, Daisy. My friends are gonna love these. It's time for a quick trick. 
I have a handkerchief. Can you take the handkerchief and make a knot up here? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by mushrooms. Mushrooms are treated like a vegetable, but they're actually fungi. They don't have any roots, leaves, flowers, or seeds. They don't even need soil or light to grow. They do require decaying material like wood or leaves to grow. Some types of mushrooms include cremini or button mushrooms, white button, and portobello. Mushrooms are a great source of selenium. They also contain potassium and B vitamins. Wow, mushrooms help our immune system, bone, heart, and energy. Mushrooms also contain phytonutrients that aren't found in a lot of foods. Put them all together and you have the mushroom. Try some mushrooms cooked with your vegetables, in an omelet, or on your salad. They're great. Now, here's the quick trick secret. Take any handkerchief and place a knot on one side, like that. Now pick up the handkerchief so no one can see the knot. Show the handkerchief, take one end, hold it with the other hand, and flip your hand and drop the end without the knot. Do that a couple of times. Now, when you're ready to make the knot appear, as you bring it up, you switch ends. So when you release the handkerchief end, the end with the knot appears. And that's the quick trick secret. For more quick tricks, check out our website. In the meantime, try this one at home and you'll even fool yourself. <laughs> it's time for more fun! Hi, Mike. Oh. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, kids. You're just in time for a magic trick. Yes. Good. <laughs> I have a couple of slates. I want to show you the slate and this slate. Okay. Let's blank. And um, a little chalk. I'm going to take a little bit of the chalk and put a little chalk dust on one of the slates like that. And we'll cover it with the other one. There. Now I have some abracadabra playing cards, as you've seen before. Jordan, I'm going to flip through the cards. You tell me when to stop anytime. Ready? Stop. Right there. You sure? Yes. Okay, take off the card. Okay. Look at the card. Show it to everybody. I won't look. Show it to everybody at home. And then place your card back on the deck and let me know when you've done that. Done. Okay, great. I'm just going to put your card somewhere in the deck. Now, we had our two slates, right? And I'm going to see if I can magically get the chalk dust to write your card. All right? Watch. Okay. Done. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. What was your card? Six of Apple. The Six of Apple. Take a look. It says the Six wow. of Apple. Wow. <laughs> wow, how'd you do that? It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mike, is this your bike helmet? Oh no, this is Joey's helmet. I bought it for him because he has a new bike and I wanted to update his helmet. I always wear my safety helmet whenever I ride my bike. That's important. And even when I roller skate, I put on a helmet. Good for you. It's important to wear a helmet every time you ride. Riding your bike can be more fun than You can skate down the promenade riding your rollerblades, the one thing you can't leave behind. Wear your helmet every time you ride. One bad trip or fall could send you to the hospital. Make sure you don't forget.
sense, it's time for Professor Science. Yeah. Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a tornado in a bottle. Here's all you need. Just two plastic containers. And in this one, I've added water, so it's about two-thirds of the way full. And this one's empty. Now, you also need a special plastic connector, like this blue one. You can see the small hole in the middle. And you use that to connect the two bottles, like this. And you want a nice, tight connection. Otherwise, this experiment can get very messy. OK, we're ready to start the experiment. So I'll flip the bottles over, and you can see not a whole lot is happening. But watch what happens when I rotate the bottles around like this. There's our tornado in a bottle. So what's going on is as I rotated the bottle around, it caused the water to go against the wall of the container. And that caused a force called centripetal force. And that centripetal force forced the water towards the center where the hole is. And then the water just passed through the hole through the force of gravity, creating our tornado in a bottle. If you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. Remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. It's time to make a healthy choice. <laughs> It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm going to show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, let's look at some snacks. We have pizza bagels, pizza rolls, and a frozen soft pretzel. Which one would you choose? If you chose the frozen soft pretzel, you'd be correct. The frozen soft pretzel only has 483 calories and a teaspoon of fat. The pizza rolls have 220 calories and three teaspoons of fat. The pizza bagels have 440 calories and almost four teaspoons of fat. So the healthy choice is the frozen soft pretzel. Make a healthy choice at home and you'll always be a winner. Say clock, what time is it? Hi, Daisy. Hi, Mike. Have you seen Joey? I have his new bike safety helmet. Oh, he just left. Oh. He wanted to show me his new bike. That's a nice bike. Reminds me of one that I used to ride. You rode a bike? I don't believe it. Aren't you gonna ask me how? Huh? Get it, Orange? Oh, not funny. That joke has still appeal to me. Get it? Appeal? Not you too! How did you ride a bike, Orange? I rode the bike in Daisy's basket! Ha 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 ha! Illusion! Duck! Duck! Oh, I thought I watched those landings. Yes. Turn me over. Okay, okay, here, I'll, I'm gonna get you. Here, here you go. There. Ooh, yes. It's a good thing I was in my safety helmet. Yes, I, I've never seen ducks wear safety helmets. Oh, of course we do. Otherwise, we'd quack up. <laughs> <laughs> Funny duck. But you know, it is good to wear your helmet when you're doing all kinds of activities, especially if there's a chance that you could fall and hit your head. Oh, yeah, and for me, that's flying. Oh, I suppose so. Well, I'm really glad that you're protecting yourself. Yeah, well, I had to go back and practice those landings. You know what they say. Uh, no, duck, what? do they say? Uh, I forgot. Uh, see you later. Bye. Illusion. <laughs> Duck. Oh, at least he's wearing a safety helmet. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a volunteer. Brianna, come on up. How are you today? Good. I have two crowns. I have a yellow crown and an empty tube. And I have a red crown and another empty tube. Place your tube on top of it. No, this is do as I do, okay? Put your hand right on top and follow me. Turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, lift your tube, and the, uh, oh, oh, what happened? That's not right, turn, turn your tube back over. There we go, put it back in. Okay, let's see if we're starting the same way. Okay, great. Ready, turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, lift it up, and, oh. 
wait a moment, maybe, maybe you should have the red crown. Take that one. I'll take the yellow crown this time, okay? And we'll place it right into the tubes. All right, here we go. Turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, lift your tube, and oh! Try that one more time. Okay. There we go. I know this time. Ready? Over once, over twice, lift it up again, and whoop it up, and oh. Oh, I think we need some magic, don't you? Yeah. Okay, tell you what, start up straight. There we go, put it in. Okay, both the same way, right? Okay, turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, turn it over one more time just for good luck. And can you all say the magic words, abracadabra? Abracadabra! Lift your tube. Yes, it worked. Thank you for helping us with that. Wow. Well, Joey, I see you finally have your bike helmet. Of course, I'm no dunny. Yes, but what are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned all about bike safety and how important it is to wear your helmet when you ride your bike, or doing any other activity where you might hurt your head, like rollerblading or roller skating. Right, I also learned about other bike safety tips too, and you can learn them by checking out our website. Hey, Mike, yes? Why did the bike racer carry an extra helmet? I don't know, Joey. Why did the bike racer carry an extra helmet? In case he got a head. Uh, oh, say goodbye, Joey. Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. <sighs> head. I was looking for Joey. I have his new bike safety helmet. Have you seen him? Dang it! Today, oh, not today, this minute. <laughs> Farvel salty. But I'm back Farvel. here, right? Yeah, you're in. Right. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Yeah! That worked. That's barely going. Okay, cut. Really? Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit HighmarkBCBSWV.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at WVMIC.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org.